Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Capuchin V2 climbing mechanics to your Gorilla Tag fan game. Now, I think I should give full credit to Max Nifty 9 He made the script and the prefab and the original tutorial, so please go subscribe to him. He'll be linked in the description along with the original video. Now, another thing I should probably state, the Capuchin v like V2 physics for the climbing is a lot different to what this script does. This script is a lot more simple, so the climbing mechanics are a lot more simple than the actual ones in Capuchin V2. The Capuchin V2 climbing is kind of like Bone Lab, and the, it, ours is just very simple. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a cube, and this is going to be our rock climbing wall that we're going to be able to be climbed on. So this is just going to be our wall and we are going to make it so it fits pr properly and then you want to copy and paste this cube again and then you want to go back to the main cube and then make a new layer and call it climb so climb and then leave the other cube that we duplicated so apply climb to this script and then leave the other cube that we duplicated as default this will just stop our hands from clipping through the wall now you can just move this back if needed and um, yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the climb script onto both of our hands. We're going to select the left hand controller and then set the hand to the right hand. I mean, sorry, left hand. And then select both the hand controllers and then you want to set, select prefab to spawn. And you drag the climb prefab into there. Proximity distance. You can change this to whatever size your uh, climbing is. I'm just going to do it 0.2. 0 0.5 is a bit much. Then for climb wall layer, set that to climb. Now we're completely finished, so I'm going to load in and I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so now that we're in, let's test it out. Also, my wall was accidentally, I accidentally made it a little bit far away, but you press the trigger button, not the grip button. There will be a tutorial coming out soon on how to change that, but for now it's just going to be the grip button, I mean the trigger button. So you press trigger, and as you can see, you can now climb on these walls. So now, this is what happens, so like if I hold down the trigger button, and I go close to the wall, that's how far to 0 0.2 would stick out as. You want to set it to like the size of the cube. You can also jump and like get re relatively far like that and you can get pretty far. And as you can see, you can climb. Now basically how this works is, as you can see, I can't get my hands to collide with each other because it's basically put, it's basically placing a box collider around my hand. Basically look platforms, but they only spawn when you're in the premises of this cube. But um, yeah, so that's all set up, so now as you can see, I can just do this. I'll go on the shinier side. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, goodbye.